It's good to know that everyone loves Slowpokes as much as I do. So as an offering to the cult of Slowpoke, I place this humble gift to the great Slow. In this video, I shall create a new evolution for every type for Slowpoke. I'm not going to go full on everything bites down on the Slowpoke for this one. Although a majority are, I went towards more what if some Pokemon influenced Slowpoke's evolution as well. Let's not dilly dally and be Slowpokes ourselves, because we have a whole lot of Slows to evolve. And obviously we aren't going to do Water or Psychic, but every Evo will have one of these two typings, just to link it all together. Oh, and if you want more of every type videos, make sure to share this video around and like it, and comment what Pokemon you want to see in an every type video. Let's start off with some slow starters. Here's our water one, but for fire and grass we need some strong contenders. Let's start with grass. I love Delmire, so having it be that the kelp sort of takes over Slowpoke to become an amalgam with the kelp as well was just too much of an exciting offer to pass up. I have this weird thing where I'm gonna make Delmire's related things into pirates, like my previous Delmire's Evo. And this Slowpoke Evo is just no different. I had the idea that it'd almost do like a venom and become part of the Slowpoke, able to replace limbs or even stretch out much like Delmyce can do, and it would hold on to much of what Delmyce cherished before its roommate situation here, with it getting an almost eye patch like compass eye, and that anchor breaking off and conveniently turning into a hook. Many of the Slowpokes here have much more sort of fixed expressions instead of their eyes just going wide. I imagine that's mainly because of the Pokemon attaching gives some sort of brain power to it. I think the worst thing about this one, and it isn't really that much of an issue, but it kind of reminds me of Rick from Rick and Morty, and that brings me a deep sense of dread. But that's what pirates do, right? So let's say slow ho ho to slow sair. Slow ho ho would have been good, but I can imagine the comments now. Slowsair, the pirate Pokemon, a water and grass type. Slowsair evolves from Slowpoke when exposed to a leaf stone. When a Slowpoke falls deep into the ocean, a Delmyres might try to prey upon it, unaware that evolution is about to occur. Slowsair exudes confidence, allowing it to command other Pokemon to collect debris to enhance its body. Most Slowsair will retain a part of the anchor it once used as a Delmyres. If it loses any body parts, the kelp will quickly regenerate them as if nothing happened. So say I have the ability Steel Worker and Regenerator. My original idea for the fire type was gonna be a designer used later in the video, but they fit a different type altogether, so I won't spoil it. For this one, I chose Skeledurge. I love the idea of this musical crocodile just chopping onto a slowpoke for a taste and then they evolve together. And this one may be my favorite of the video. My idea was to sort of slow bro proportions but take it into a more classical musical idea of a conductor. The Skeledurge fireworks just so well to give it this sort of goofy balding conductor slowpoke while the pattern just works well for the outfit. I guess much of this is already what Skeledurge had, so I just decided to add a little twist. Instead of a Firebird microphone, this slow gets a fire conducting baton in the form of a music note-like shape that it'd whirl and twirl around, a bit like a Wind Waker, to use their attack. I love in Slow Bro and Slow King that the shelter thing has kind of eyes and takes on a different form. So in many of these ones, I wanted to add that in and here I wanted it to be this sort of weird looking grumpy Skeledurge mouth with a fire constantly pouring out of it. I imagine inside maybe there's a speaker organ or something to amplify its sound based moves. This slow Eva is the next Chapel Row and I promise you. Uh, it, was that a hip? Was, was that cool kids? Chapel Row? Anything? Uh, I give up. Slow Kestrel, the conductor Pokemon, a psychic and fire type. So Kestrel evolves from a Slowpoke after holding a metronome and using its effect 50 times. When an unfortunate Skeledurge chomps down on Slowpoke, it evolves. Fortunately for the Slowpoke, Skeledurge's musical talent and passion seep into it, making it single-minded in its pursuit of conducting and making music. It will gather herds of Slowpoke and their evolutions to conduct beautiful music for all to hear. 
Some believe that Soikestro uses its fiery baton to captivate the Slowpoke and make them obey. Soikestro have the ability Soundproof and a new ability called Tempo, where it increases its Pokemon and other allies' damage if moves of the same type are used in succession with one another. Let's do normal next as this is the only one that isn't really influenced by a Pokemon. Technically it's Slowpoke who influenced itself though, so I made a lie, sue me. The idea here is that it's almost like a Dedunspa situation, where the Slowpoke doesn't change terribly much, just becoming bigger, but that's because it's an older, unbitten Slowpoke. Time has ravaged it so, and shows that without being numbed by a shoulder, they just become big old doofuses. Their tails get massive and has to be curled up, and algae now grows upon them like a dugong. What I thought would be fun was to make it so there's multiple Pokemon in one in this Evo. Give you a bit of that Kangaskhan coming from the egg vibes. So this Slowpoke is a slow stack with two baby Slowpokes on top. They would also show up in game and sort of do like a mouse hold thing where they join in on attacks with their own animations and just always be there as the laziest two Slowpoke you have ever seen. I decided to go as derpy as possible here. Just really show that this psychic type has been phased out fully for the most normal Slowpoke y'all have ever seen. <laughs> Just imagine the evolutions for when a shelter bites into this one now. Slow Stack, the slow Pokemon, a water and normal type. Slow Stack evolves from Slowpoke at level 50. When a Slowpoke never has a shelter clamp onto its tail for an extended period, it ages and eventually evolves into Slow Stack. Its mental capabilities significantly diminish, and it becomes even slower leading to algae growing on its body. Slowstack are excellent parents and often carry multiple Slowpoke on their back. These Slowpoke enjoy a calm ride, but will also assist in battle if needed. Slowstack have the ability simple and unaware. For Dark Type, I went with Malamar here, as I had a vision in mind. And what's better than a Mind Flayer? Well, actually a lot of things, they're horrifying, and I've lost a few D&D Pals characters to those monsters. But I love the idea of Malamar coming along, trying to control Slowpoke, maybe even attaching to his head for a psychic feast, only for it to be like overwhelmed by how dumb it is, or maybe how secretly powerful it is, and Slowpoke amalgamates it and becomes this... thing. It's mainly the body of a Slowbro-like Pokemon, tail intact, but covered in horrific vein-like protrusions, as we need that body horror aspect to this Slowpoke. But up above no longer sits the Slowhead, oh my no. Now it's a tentacled freak who would love nothing more than to suck out your brain. It also lets me play with the idea that Malamar is still sort of there, with its beak becoming a psychic focal gem, and the eyes are just, they're quite upset. Maybe you could even flip it around, it'd be able to live as a Malamar again for a bit. This one ended up also being one of my favourites here as it just looks cool and creepy. I can't help but imagine Baldur's Gate 3 but interspersed with the Mind Flayer colonies it's just a couple of Slow Flay just pottering around. <laughs> slow Flay, the cruel Pokemon, a psychic and dark type. Slow Flay evolves from Slowpoke after fainting due to a psychic or dark type critical hit. A greedy Malamar looking to control Slowpoke found out the hard way that Slowpoke's brain is too difficult and complex, despite their looks, and so amalgamated into Slowpoke and evolved into Slowfly. They use their powers to make Pokemon do all of their bidding. It's slow in speed but powerful in mind. Once it is finished with a Pokemon, it will use their powers to drain their mind, leaving them a husk about as slow and smart as that of an actual Slowpoke. Slowfly have the abilities Regenerator and Suction Cups. This next one is pretty dark, not dark type, just subject matter. Initially, I was deciding between Shedinja for the ghost type or Ghastly, and I settled on the latter because I thought, what if instead of just a Pokemon biting onto the tail, what if they bit through it? Just took the entire chomp of the tail, and instead of eating it, evolution occurred. So this Slowpoke passed away from the sheer shock of such a scary event, sort of like Primate to Annihilate, and now it floats along, all depressed and melancholic, 
while being followed around by a tiny little tail enveloped in gas. Because poor Gasly is now a part of the Slonely crew. That's right, he's a lonely, slow, Slonely. I thought it was cute. I opted to keep it closer to looking like Slowpoke, but add in some darker parts like the ears and toenails have been removed, the former replaced by ghostly gas, and now he has spooky spine bone patterns. Oh, very scary. Honestly, it's pretty cute, and having a Slowpoke Evo floating around haunting me in this form isn't the worst. The true power is to the person that buys superglue and just reattaches the tail. Lord save us when that happens. Slonely, the Revenant Pokemon, a Psychic and Ghost type. Slonely evolves from a Slowpoke when defeated by a Ghost type Pokemon. When a Ghastly bites through a Slowpoke's tail, it merges with the tail, causing the Slowpoke to perish and become Slonely, a ghostly version of what it once was. Slonely often lingers around groups of Slowpoke, attempting to lead them towards disaster, so they might join it in the afterlife. However, this usually fails, due to Slowpoke's natural resistance to such influence. Slonely's tail remains kind and is often its only true friend. Slonely have the abilities Curse Body and Levitate. Let's do Ground Rock and Steel next, as they're all kind of related. It's a stone, Luigi. You didn't make it. It's a football. I chiseled it. Rock type was the one from the fire type I mentioned. Initially, I was going to have this as the fire type because I chose Mag Cargo. And I had this idea of a big mix of a giant backpacked rock slowpoke, Sultan, Traveler, Nomad mix. I know it's a lot, but it works. And so I did exactly that. But that fact that the large rock is such an important part of the design led me to instead choose rock with some fire related abilities, which kind of helps it all link together and make sense still. Don't ask me how a slowpoke survives a mag cargo crawling onto them and they don't catch fire immediately from literal lava touching them. Let's just say that the evolution happened quick enough for a slowpoke not to catch onto the pain. This is a happy-go-lucky Slowpoke Eva that would be able to store things in their large rocky shell backpack. Maybe in-game berries and items would fall out of them in animations, much like how Greedon does with berries. I don't think I sold the Sultan idea fully here, but I think Traveling Merchant comes out enough that I'm not too concerned about that. Slowmad, the Wanderer Pokemon, a Psychic and Rock type. Slowmad evolves from Slowpoke after traveling a thousand steps Move a Pokemon with the Flash Fire ability in your party. Slowmad are traveling Pokemon that come to be after a curious interaction with Magcargo. They carry objects in their warm, rocky shell that is incredibly hardy and will even use it as a weapon. Some Slowmad will bring goods to colonies of Pokemon to trade and have created an entire safe trade routes protected by other more strong Pokemon. It will even trade with humans given the right items. Slowmad have the abilities Flame Body and Flash Fire. I eat dirt. Ground type has to be one of my favorite Slowpoke Evo concepts here. And although a Medusa is kind of more rock type related due to petrification, I wanted to have Sandaconda start to sort of fully eating a Slowpoke only for it to evolve. And so half of this slow Evo's body has the ringy springy like shape of Sandaconda, but we now get some real snaky sort of hairdo for the slowpoke. I like to imagine that the head snakes can all kind of curl up to look just like the normal slowpoke ear swirls and only coming out to show emotions and attack. I think it was terribly big brain of me to have it so that the hands kind of have claw shapes and spots to make it look like another pair of snakes there. Let me toot my big brain horn here please. I don't exactly know whether or not it's coiled up and would move along with a snaky body like actual Medusa's or bounce along like a spring, something like Spoink, and then it can spring into action literally. This would be such a rare slowpoke to get because why would there be a slowpoke in the desert? And you wouldn't get your Sandaconda to eat a slowpoke just to evolve it, would you? Slowdusa, the Gorgon Pokemon, a psychic and ground type. Slowdusa evolves from Slowpoke after holding a mirror herb and defeating 10 ground type Pokemon. The curious Slowdusa is the result of a Sandaconda biting a Slowpoke that has lost its way and ended up in the desert. 
or from an unfortunate accident caused by its trainer. It bounces along with a sassy attitude. Each of its tendrils has a small mouth and eyes, with the power to paralyze anyone who looks into them. If one of these tendrils falls off, it will quickly regrow over the following days. Slowdus has a new ability called Petrify, where paralyzed Pokemon have a chance to be unable to switch out while this Pokemon is on the battlefield. This next one is potentially one of the sillier ones I've done. I mean, it's fitting, Slowpoke's entire line is silly, but here a Slowpoke was just walking along, slowly, when it accidentally stepped on Galarian Stunfisk and history was made. I wanted to make my own Trapper Slowpoke, of the steel type, where the neck kind of extends outward into this big bear trap shaped frill that it would use for both offense, as in burying in the ground and luring prey with its head, and defense where it close up to be a steel cage around their head, which I imagine would be where some Stunfisk-like eyes would be hidden. Can't headshot this Slowpoke at all. Because it's a Trapper Pokemon, I thought it'd be fun to give it a trophy on it and play up the Slowking aspects of their other Evos and give it a Ursa Luna head, maybe the head still alive as well, and emotes with Slow Clamp as well. This one didn't feel very Psychic Steel, so I gave it Water Type, but what do you think? Is its method of trapping big brain enough to give it the Psychic type? Slow Clamp, the trap Pokemon of Steel and Water type. Slow Clamp evolves from Slowpoke after defeating any bear like Pokemon. When a Slowpoke gets clamped down on by Galarian Stunfisk, it evolves into Slow Clamp. Each Slow Clamp will hunt down a prize to adorn its body with until it perishes. The large neck ruffle can be manipulated to function as eel jaw traps as well as armor to protect Slow Clamp's head. It will dig a small hole for its body, and then pretend to be a severed head on the ground, waiting for prey to step on its trap before cutting them in two. Slow Clamp have the abilities Arena Trap and Strong Jaw. How about some legendary slows? First, let's do Poison Type, as I had a devious idea. What if a Slowpoke was in Kitakami and Petrarant decided to give it everything it wanted? and they became the loyal four? I reckon that if Slowpoke's desires were unlocked, much like how the other three had once, it'd probably have wanted some speed. So I focused it entirely on this speedy poison water type Slowpoke. The chains in the other loyal three come together as sort of accents for their various upgrades. Monkey Dory, its brain, Tezendipity, a beautiful sash, and Okie Dogi, a sort of brutal dog collar. Here in Slowpoke, it becomes something a bit more useful in some roller skates, Accelerate Ben 10 style. Yeah, I know it's a bit on the nose, but I thought it was cool that Slowpoke's tail, kind of well known for being the crux of its evos, becomes the chain and the sick blades as well. I imagine where it's not shredding the chain's wrap around its body and probably look more like Pheasantipity's sash or something like that. Yeah, it's a bit skinnier, but I mean, this Slowpoke is a lot more active and fast, so it probably loses much of its chubby charm. Slow and Steady, the retainer Pokemon of Water and Poison type. A unique form of Slowpoke found in the land of Kitakami. A Slowpoke wished to become faster to better protect those around it, especially his good friend Pachurun. With the powers of the Binding Mochi, this wish was realized. Slow and Steady is speedy thanks to the slippery, toxic chains that make up their tail. They can place the rings under their feet and skate around as if on roller skates. So and Steady has a bit of a complex and will berate anything that is slower than it. So and Steady has the ability Toxic Chain. I will now take my leave. I live here, so I won't actually be going anywhere, but you don't have to talk to me anymore. This next one was just a silly idea I had. Many of you wanted Palkia to chomp down on the slow. And I thought at first making some kind of giant Slowpoke center would be funny. But Slowpoke isn't the brightest. I think that Palkia would become more of an accessory to the slow and kind of just become a bit nerfed. So instead I decided to make this Slowpoke that would act as a priest to the cult of the church of Palkia. Even though the thing is firmly affixed to its body now. But they don't know that. It has the energy of that one future armor character, the Grand Priestess. And if it had a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon episode, it would definitely be voiced by Tress McNeil. 
I really enjoyed giving it the parts of Palkia like some kind of grand adornments to make it look super important. The large Palkia wings that lead into just the most depressed Palkia eyes you've ever seen. It really did just draw the worst lick imaginable with the slowpoke it bit down on. Slow Priest, the heraldic Pokemon, a water and dragon type. Slow Priest evolves from Slowpoke after leveling up while holding the lustrous orb. Slow Priest is an immensely powerful Pokemon that lacks the intelligence to recognize its own power, making it subservient to other legendary Pokemon. If Slow Priest ever focuses sufficiently on the pearl on its head, it can demolish entire buildings with a powerful beam. The adornments on its sides resemble wings with eyes that gaze unblinkingly at a target. Slow Priest is a modicum of control over space itself. Slow Priest has the ability for warm. I'm finished! Finally, I'm a beautiful butterfly! Bug type is one that I fought hard about. I was thinking maybe remaking my Slowpoke Tardigrade conversion for a bit. That's too easy. I want Slowpoke to evolve through some true suffering today. The idea was the Slowpoke would just be swarmed by Beedrill, nor I guess Kombi and Vespaquin, any stinging bug Pokemon really, and have an allergic reaction called evolution. My idea was sort of like in Wario Land or any cartoon really where the bee would cause you to puff up very cartoonishly. So Slowpoke also kind of puffs up a bit, but mainly in the larger sting part of their tail where it not only puffs out but becomes a stinger itself filled with new slow venom trademark, while the rest of the body gets some bugly adornments, some wings and beedrill-like appendages, and its ear swells become antennae. The most brutal part of this design are the red dots all over, which kind of represent all the places where the beedrills once stung our slowpoke. It's tragic but funny, which I think is the perfect idea for slowpoke evos. Slow Buzz, the stung Pokemon, a water and bug type. Slow Buzz evolves from Slowpoke after fainting due to a poison or bug type critical hit attack. When a Beedrill Swarm attacks a Slowpoke, their venom induces a rapid and unusual evolution, turning it into a bug type Pokemon swollen with its own kind of venom. Its tail becomes incredibly sharp and injects a special venom that slows the victim's physical and mental faculties. However, Slowbuzz often fails to capitalize on this advantage and may simply fly away without concern. Slowbuzz have the abilities Poison Point and Levitate. Let's continue with goofy designs to one honestly so silly and wacky. I don't think anyone would actually want to use it in game. This one was inspired by uh, spoilers for the new chapters of One Piece, but the design for Vegapunk being an Einstein reference in itself. This Slowpoke got bit by a Chinchow and partially unlocked its big brain energy with that bioelectricity. I went full Einstein here going for the tongue thing that he's famous for, as well as giving it a pose to have it going Eureka. All the while the massive brain growth on its head would light up like a light bulb, giving it an idea like in cartoons. I told you it would be silly. I wanted it to look like it was wearing a lab coat sort of thing, so the Chinchow parts Wrap from the kind of simplified design tail up the middle of Slowpoke. I guess it makes more of a turtleneck-like design, but I think he looks dapper. Again, not for everyone, but it's oddly endearing in a way. Slow Glow, the Brainiac Pokemon, a psychic and electric type. Slow Glow evolves from Slowpoke when exposed to a Thunderstone. An accidental interaction with a Chinchow biting Slowpoke's tail led to this new evolution. Slow Glow are typically not the brightest, but a peculiar bioelectrical reaction causes their neurons to activate, making them incredibly intelligent. Their brains also begin to glow brightly. If Slow Glow is ever hit by electricity, it forces them to think, which some trainers use to their advantages during double battles. Slow Glow have the abilities Analytic and Motor Drive. Fighting is next, and this one I thought would be fun for it to be kind of legendary too. This Slowpoke found itself a master in that of Urshifu, probably the fighting water type one, and through rigorous training it evolved into this larger Slowpoke form. I wanted it to look a bit like a mix between the hippo look of Slowpoke 
who is that of a bear from a Shifu, and an old-timey pugilist, one that's really into the sort of old-style boxing. So I made it so that despite it having claws, this slow Evo has massive meaty hands, all the better for boxing on with. I did have a bit of trouble making it include elements that looked natural, while still having that hint of looking like clothing, with the pants and the draping sort of cloth I guess that pugilists would use to wipe sweat away. I don't know if it was the biggest win, but hey, I think it does a decent job of being a buff brawler slowpoke. Slow Brawl, the pugilist Pokemon of water and fighting type. Slow Brawl evolves from Slowpoke after leveling up while holding a punching glove. Slow Brawl emerges when a Slowpoke shows aptitude for physical combat, becoming a faster and more aggressive Pokemon. Each Slow Brawl has a unique fighting style depending on the Pokemon it trains with, and many travel from miles away to study under the Pokemon Urshifu. It greatly fears any Pokemon that isn't willing to engage in a fist fight and instead uses special attacks. Slow Brawl have the abilities Iron Fist and Sturdy. I don't say blah blah blah. Flying is one that I thought could have a bit of a vampire spin to it, so I chose Golbat. The thing has a big enough mouth to clamp down on a Slowpoke's head and have it become sort of a symbiotic relationship with Slowpoke. All the while, Slowpoke becomes a bit of a Gliscor like design, getting arm gliding wings and a rudder tail for maneuvering better. The idea here is that it's just a smaller slow evo than most others, capable of crawling around in places and flying about ready to drop down on unsuspecting foes to drain them of their blood. Blyer! I know this is a bit of strange looking, like it's wearing Golbat, but at the same time I think it's more fitting coming closer to that of a Slow King like design than anything else. Imagine an episode where Ash and Go were getting this Slowpoke's adornment on their heads instead. Slowbat, the gliding Pokemon of Psychic and Flying type. Slowbat evolves from Slowpoke at level 36 when it is high up in elevated locations. When a Golbat bites down on a Slowpoke's head, they evolve together into a symbiotic relationship. Slowbat hunts Pokemon by riding warm air currents. Once it spots prey, it swoops down to clamp onto its target with its fangs and drain its blood. Slowbat has blood red eyes that enable it to see in the dark, but struggles with visibility during the day. Therefore, it often resides in caves with Golbat colonies, where it is generally accepted as one of their own. Slowbat have the abilities Wind Rider and Strong Jaw. Slap on your clad rags and put on a show. Three types left. Let's do fairy next. There's so many good types of fairy. No trouble choosing. So this one could probably come about from either Grimstyle or Hatterun. Although this Evo leads more towards Hatterun's design. I wanted a sort of slow hag sort of Pokemon, which would be a slowpoke that lives within the woods, walking around with its tail cane and have this large imposing silhouette that it read a bit like a hunched over person. But really it's just a large wad of hair perhaps filled with something dark and spooky. Oh. I wanted to play up a sort of Tangler or Tangrove sort of thing, where the face of Slow Hag here is obscured slightly. One eye is completely covered and the other is just kind of staring angrily and unblinkingly at the enemies. I was considering having it a bit more unkempt on top, but I feel like that would have made it look more like a Tarantula Evo than Hatterun. You can see the Grim style influence in the hair tendril tips being more like theirs in design, while the colour scheme and general smoothness of the hair sphere on top leans a bit more into Hatterun territory. Now there can be turf wars between Hatterun, Slowhag, and Grim Snarl. Yay! Slowhag, the forest dweller Pokemon, a psychic and fairy type. Slowhag evolves from Slowpoke when exposed to a Dawn Stone. Deep in the forest, the Hatterin lured a Slowpoke to prey upon it, but only Slowhag returned. Some say that within Slowhag's large mass of hair are the remnants of its victims. Slowhag creates territories with its constantly growing hair, similar to a spider's web. Pokemon corners hair rarely escape. If the hair doesn't trap them, Slowhag's dark and mystical powers will ensure their defeat. Despite its fearsome appearance, Slowhag is not always malevolent, and has a soft spot for caring for children. Slowhag have the abilities Tangling Hair and Unnerve. Ice type was a toughie. I decided to go towards Glalie for the ice type here, but specifically it's Megaform. 
with the explanation that the slowpoke was especially nutritious when it was bitten into, and that caused it to go mega for just a second, long enough to stay permanently in that form after evolving. This evo kind of gives Glalie from its mega form a working jaw, as well as an entire slow body to work with, as well as becoming a big buff slowpoke ogre body that has had its tail removed. Maybe it tore it off itself, but I wanted to make it feel a bit like the Goss Harag from Monster Hunter Rise. And so the tail actually has been frozen over to become a giant Oni Club, right for the smashing onto unsuspecting hunters. You'll see I did end up changing the look of Glalie's eyes a bit, to make it almost seem like the Slowpoke influence is there. Maybe even peeking through the actual Glalie head and it's just a helmet now, perhaps. <laughs> Slowgoth. The Frost Oni Pokemon are water and ice type. Slowger evolves from Slowpoke when exposed to an ice stone. A lost Slowpoke that was preyed upon by Glalie soon found itself evolving alongside it. The nutrients from Slowpoke's tail unleashed a mega evolution like energy in Glalie, giving Slowger characteristics similar to its mega form. Slowger has the ability to freeze the air and transforms its tail into a sharp, cold cudgel, as well as using parts of its body for defense. The mountain where Sloga resides is described as unnaturally cold and harsh. Sloga have the ability sheer force and clear body. Much like dividing by zero, our final entry here is what if a slowpoke bit on to another slowpoke. Chaos reigns and Lillipops and Glamiaus rain from the sky. I wanted to make it so that the two different forms of slowpoke were together here with some minor changes. The first being they have no back legs. This sort of strange creature has no need for legs anymore as they now float along or roll around if they'd like. Legs also mess with the silhouette. And now we get some really cute strange seal looking slowpokes here. The Cantonian form takes on a bit more of a goofy form with a slight underbite, but the Glarian form just doesn't really change much. I imagine this is the most basic form of slow Broboros you can get. Why I imagine you could have as many in the chain as you'd like. Just get a slowpoke to bite down on the tail and continue the chain. This is the true form of the deity we worship in the cult of the slowpoke. So kneel and worship your new lord and savior, Slow Broboros. Slow Broboros, the endless Pokemon, an unknown type. Slow Broboros evolves from Slowpoke when both Cantonian and Galarian Slowpoke in your party reach level. Be not afraid, it desires only peace and to uphold the constant cycle of life. Only strongest two Slowpoke have the privilege of evolving into Slow Broboros. It floats above, constantly spinning. From its center, powerful lasers fire out disintegrating anything that Slow Broboros deems unworthy of being part of the endless cycle. Slow Broboros has the ability as one. Oh, oh, that was a lot. Between doing 17, yep, 17 designs of Slowpoke and the sheer beauty that was gazing upon Slow Broboros, I think I'm a bit Slowpoked out for the next couple of months or more. But hey, thanks for making it this far with me. Make sure again to drop a like and sub for our Grandmaster Slow Broboros. It's free and grows their power. And remember to comment and share this video around so we may grow our followers of Slow. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of the Slowpoke Evos gallery.